Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to calculate the annual worth given the present worth. These type of problems are important if you're taking FE Civil, Mechanical, other disciplines, or if you're just taking Engineering Economics class. Now, if you're for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Okay guys, so this problem is very similar to one we did previously. It's very easy. Again, I just want to cover the basics and make sure that you guys understand it. And also for those of you who did not take this class in college and if you're still struggling, I definitely recommend that you get the book. I will leave the, the link in the description below in case you guys want to check it out. Okay, so the question we have is, so you deposit $10,000 today with an interest rate of 4% and in the five years, we want to know what's the annual worth. What's the annual worth every year for that 10,000 that you will deposit today? So like we did before, the first thing we're going to do here is the cash flow diagram. So I recommend that you check out the other video in case you guys haven't. I will leave the link uh, somewhere above there. And the reason I say that is because on there, I explain the cash flow diagram, the inflows, the outflows, and all the, the details on how to do it. So here I'm just going to briefly do it and just uh, I'm going to assume that you already watched the video. So we have 10,000 at year zero, which is today, $10,000, right? And this is going to be an outflow. The arrow is going to be downward because it's getting out of your pocket, right? Now for the annual worth for five years, we want to know how much that's going to be of an inflow. So that's going to be upwards. We're going to have one, two, so this is zero. This is one, two, and five. And note here, guys, that it's going to, to be the same exact amount because we're taking that $10,000 and we kind of divided it in five years and we want to know how much it's going to give us every single year. I hope that makes sense. It's a little bit confusing, but uh, let's start solving and then hopefully you guys have a better understanding of this problem. So let's go to the first page which is 135 that's where we have the equations this is what we want to do we want to convert to a right that's your annual worth this is a like this is a a they're all a and then uh let's just write here i is equal to four percent i like to put that on my cash flow diagram just so to have a good understanding of the problem now we want to convert to a and we're given the present word so this is your p so let me write it down so this is p so Let's look for convert to A given P. So this is the equation. This is what we need. We want to convert to A and we are given P. So like I said in the previous video, we have two equations and they're pretty much the same thing, except that the only thing is if you have, if the interest rate that's given to you is on the tables, then use this because it's going to be way faster than calculating this. This might take you a little bit of time and you don't have that kind of time during the FE exam. But I also recommend that you kind of know how to use both. It's very important in case if you were not given the I or the interest rate that is on the tables. Okay, so let's write this equation. So I have A because that's what we're trying to solve, right? So A and then don't forget the present word here. Um, I talked about this before as well so the way i remember it is if you have a present word here or if let's say f or a whatever the value you have here make sure you have it here if you forget this term your whole answer is going to you're not even going to have an answer it's going to be a very small number so make sure you don't forget p so we have p i percent and then we have n which is number of years okay we have ten thousand dollars here a to P, let's leave it as that for now. I is 4%. And then N is 5 years, right? Okay, so the next step is we're going to the tables. So let's go to... So here we have I is 0 0.5. I have 1, so I can't use either of these. So I'm looking for I is equal to 4%. So that's the one we need. And this is your number of years. This is 5. And we're looking for A to P. And so it's going to be this number, 0 0.2246. So I have $10,000 times 0 0.2246. 
So if you plug in this in your calculator, you will get an answer of $2,246. So that is your answer. And that is answer B. And so this means that every year you're going to make 2000 246 that's exactly what it means and then this year you're going to make same amount and then here and then here and then here okay guys so i hope you got that problem now if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below and i will make sure to address it in the future now remember a lot of problems i cover here it's because people have asked me to solve these problems in the past and don't forget to like subscribe and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful thank you guys for watching and i will see you soon à la prochaine oh yeah, everybody now.